Here we are with a quick tip. I did this for a little project uh, a little while ago. And one of the things I really wanted to get right was the flow of this bark. Um, I, wanted to, I wanted it to feel natural, obviously, like you do. And I wanted it to flow up the trunk and out of the branches. And I didn't want to have a seam. And I had to set up a lot of layers just to get that to work. And I'm going to show you now how I did that. Fairly straightforward, really. I'm sure you, most of you have used a substance painter know how to do this, but it's just one of those little tricks. Um, one of those little things that uh, didn't have me stumped, but I had to think about it for a minute or two. And, um, you know, here it is. I'm just going to show you how to do it now. Okay, so we start with a blank tree, obviously. So the first thing to do is drop some bark on the tree. I think I used this one here. Let's have a look. Yes. Even at that resolution, you can see it kind of flows at a weird angle and it kind of blends and flows out of that branch. But then you look at this branch and it's weird and not flowing in the right direction. They're, and they're all different, basically. So. Uh, first of all, let's change the scale of that. UV scale, I think I've got on about three. Yeah, that's good. I wanna hide my seams. Let's put this on triplanar, like so. Right there, straight away, you can see that's not correct. So it goes up the trunk, which is cool. And you can rotate this just to get that right if you wish yeah. but these branches just aren't right they, they are, the park is flowing vertically it's not flowing up and across the branch so I'm only going to show you one branch and you can apply the same technique to all the other branches now we need to mask off this uh, branch here so we just add a white mask so that it keeps all the rest of the tree intact and we just mask this off here there we go I don't want to a little bug there it doesn't refresh quite right let's just make sure we've got it all that now we add a new uh, bark layer above that like that and we add a black mask on that and then we Expose this here branch on that layer like that. That's it. And now we just make sure that that is triplanar like the other one. And we make sure that it's the same scale, UV scale like that one. And you can see it's not quite right. It's not going in the right direction. We don't. We want it to flow along the branch. So now we have to rotate branch so it flows like that you can now blend it Oops. I'll just blend this a little bit more so make it a bit gray so that it's got a bit of both in there So there you go. Bark is flowing in the right direction, and it's kind of blended with the uh, 
with that bark. And if you put like moss and, and other layers on there, you can disguise that even more. I, don't, I think it just looks a lot better than having it flow go like that because that doesn't look right at all. Even though it's a nice scene and things, it just doesn't work for me. So that looks cool. So that is how you get bark to flow in the right direction. You just have to do the same to all your other branches and it will look really cool. Thank you for watching. If you like that, give it a like and uh, press that sub button and uh, I'll see you next time.